Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 26th. Today is Eclipse Day. If you caught my show last week, I talk about it in detail and I'll leave a reference down below. So if you're watching this show Sunday afternoon, you still have time. If you're watching it Monday, you missed it. But I will leave a link with all the details basically to tell you in a way to sum it up. If you're east of the Mississippi in the U.S., most of Canada, South America, pretty much everywhere except the uh, areas of Asia and Australia, you'll be able to see at least part of this eclipse, if not the majority of it. So check out the link to last week's show if you didn't catch it. And on to the rest of the show. I'm going to switch over from the moon, which is uh, in the news because of the eclipse, to Mars. This is first one is from IFL Science. This is... NASA will announce major Mars discovery on Monday. I'm not considering what, what NASA considers major is to me kind of more like a medium level announcements, but still something worth catching. So if you can tune in onto the NASA channel, if you have it on your cable, or they do stream it for free over the internet, it will take place at 11.30 Eastern time. That'll be 10.30 Central, so adjust for your time. But there's going to be some announcement from Mars. My best guess is they're going to find some structure or chemical compound or crystal or something on Mars that will give them more evidence that there could have possibly been life in the past, but I do not really believe, I mean it's possible, but I don't believe this is going to be that they've actually discovered direct evidence of life on Mars. Would be nice. And continuing with the Mars theme, Newsweek.com talks about has there ever been a good movie about Mars with the movie The Martian coming up real quickly. I think it comes up in just uh, the next week or so, October 2nd. It's going to be premiering. I think it's going to be, just from seeing the trailer, I think it's going to be one of the best movies about Mars. But of all the movies that have been about Mars in the past, do you have one that's your favorite? Uh, out of all the movies, even going back to the movies, and I do like the movies from the 50s and the 60s, even the kind of corny old type of uh, black and white movies. But I still think the best one that was enjoyable to watch in my case was uh, Total Recall. Uh, there's lots of others. There was The Red Planet with uh, Val Kilmer and Carrie Ann. It was an interesting movie, and I saw that. I've, I've seen probably most all the movies Hollywood's ever put out about Mars because I just have a fascination with it. But what's your favorite? So if you get a chance, answer in the comments. And this was sent in by Navy Thomas 8. And then uh, a lot of people sent, actually, believe it or not, quite a few people sent me this link on Facebook because they know the fact that I sent my son to private school, and this is his private school that I sent him to. It was St. Edwards in Elgin. Football field ruined by mistaken application of weed killer. And this was not weed killer. If you take a look at the picture, and I'll put it up here, they sprayed some kind of vegetation killer or roundup or something. There was some kind of all kill on this field because it's basically gone. And uh, this is the beginning of the football season. Now, one thing about it, if you don't reapply it, I've even found stuff like Roundup and the All Kill. It does not last real long unless you do it two or three times in a row. So I would say this this happened back in September 16th. I would say probably give it about two months, and I think the field will be fine. Uh, you might have to replant a little bit of seed and stuff like that. But even the best killers, it is really hard to kill grass. Grass is harder to kill than weed killer. I've spread weed killer twice on my lawn in the back because I have this problem with lamb's ear weed, what they call it lamb's quarter, and I had to spray two applications before it even took that out and it didn't even touch the grass at all. The grass wasn't even harmed, so they sprayed something a little more potent and a little more toxic. And last up, I want to feature, well I'm actually going to feature two different channels. First off, I want to feature my buddy Muzzle Mike and the In the Lawn um, regular weekly show. He's been doing that for about two years now, I think. I was on his show, not this summer, but the last summer before that in uh, when I went out to his place, I got to be on the show In the Lawn, and I want to encourage anybody on YouTube, if you can have any type of subject for a weekly show, I think those things are great, and I wish more people would do it and stick with it and do it on a regular basis, but I'll put a link to his channel, too. He's got one up today, another In the Lawn uh, broadcast, so check it out. It's His show's a variety of about just everything. His is not so much like mine, where I stick with uh, technology, gadgets, and science, things like that. His can go all over the place to all kinds of subjects, so it's a total variety show and very enjoyable. I always try to catch it. And there's another channel called C. Jane Drill, and it's funny because her name isn't Jane, her name is Leia, but she has one particular video I would like you to check out, and it's called Four Tape Measure Tricks. Now, I'm a geek, and like a lot of geeks, I always carry a tape measure with me. I have one on me right now, 
And there's a few things about the tape measure and about the way it, it's built and it's designed that a lot of people don't really know. And a couple things on this video I learned too, but there's this little slot up here and there's this little kind of edge, this little serrated edge that they have. Those are actually there for a purpose, so I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to let you check out her video and see the four tape measure tricks. And if you think um, she does some pretty good videos on home improvement and things like that, check out her channel and possibly subscribe. So anyway, I'm going to be getting ready for the eclipse in just a few hours. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.